Hello my friend, in this step-by-step -step tutorial video, I'll show you how to create classic waveforms using FM synthesis. These techniques apply to the original Yamaha DX7, possibly their entire FM synth line, and the soft synths Dext, Arturia DX7V, and Native Instruments FM8. You may have to adjust the modulator output and feedback on other synths. Today, we'll use the free synth Dext for this tutorial. Check the description of this video for a link to download Dext and for the recipes I'll show you today. Number 1. Sawtooth Wave For this recipe, we're going to use a simple carrier and modulator system. So algorithm 1 will work just fine. Our carrier to modulator ratio will be 1 to 1, which is set up by default. Number 1 is going to be our carrier, number 2 the modulator. We'll set carrier level to 99, which is already by default. Then we'll set our modulator level to 99. This is how it sounds before using the modulator. A typical sine wave. I'm going to start increasing the level and watch on this tiny screen here on the bottom left that we'll set this to a level of 99. There we go. That's the FM sawtooth wave. Recipe number two, analog sawtooth wave. For this one, we'll also need a simple carrier and modulator system. However, we need a modulator that offers feedback. In our case, algorithm number two is going to offer just that. We have a carrier and a modulator with feedback. First thing we'll do is set up the carrier to modulator ratio to 1 to 1, which is set up by default. Then we'll set the carrier level to 99, which is already by default. Next up, we'll set the feedback to a setting of 7 or its max value here at the bottom. And finally, we'll set the level of our modulator to 81. There we go. It sounds very close to an analog sawtooth wave, right? And just as reference, it's very different from the normal FM sawtooth wave. So let's uh, set that up very quickly for comparison. The FM sawtooth wave. and the analog sawtooth wave. Recipe number three, square wave. For this one, we'll use a simple carrier and modulator system. So algorithm one will work just fine. We'll set our carrier to modulator ratio to one to two. So our carrier is gonna have a frequency of one while our modulator will be set to two using this course control. This is how it sounds now. The carrier level needs to be at 99 or its maximum. And finally, the modulator level needs to be 71. There we go. It's a very reedy kind of sound. Woody, reedy. Definitely has the sound of a square wave. Recipe number four, pulse wave. The pulse wave is almost the same as a square wave with a few tweaks. So we'll also use a simple carrier and modulator system. So algorithm one will work just fine. The carrier to modulator ratio should be an odd number on the side of the carrier and frequency of 2 on the side of the modulator. So I'm going to set that here. Like I mentioned, any odd number will work except for 1 because then it would be a normal square wave. So we can set it as 3 to 2, 5 to 2. 7 to 2, etc. 
let's set it back down to 3. The carrier level needs to be 99. That's where it is by default. The modulator level needs to be 71. And there we go. This is the pulse wave. And if we change the carrier frequency, like I mentioned, to some other odd number, for example, 5, we get a different timbre and different tone. Or 7. Or 9. If this gets too shrill, of course you can always transpose down and experiment with that. Personally, I think that for the meat of a sound, a ratio of 3 to 2 works very well, like so. Let's set the carrier to modulator ratio to 1 to 2 and listen to the difference between a square wave and the pulse wave. This would be square. And here would be the pulse. Similar, but not exactly the same. Of course, a pulse wave is a kind of square wave. Recipe number five, triangle wave. For this one, we'll also use a simple carrier and modulator system, so algorithm one will work for that. The carrier to modulator ratio should be one to two. Carrier set to one, Modulator should be set to a frequency of 2, like so. The carrier level should be 99, and that's where it's at. Finally, the modulator level needs to be set to 45. There we go. Now, the recipe for a square wave is this exact same thing, however with a level of 71. So why is it that if we lower the level, it turns into a triangle wave? The reason for that is that the modulator level introduces harmonics into the sound. So if you increase the level, you get more harmonics, which will create a square wave. And if you lower the level, you will take away harmonics, so the sound will be more akin to a triangle wave. That's the reason why. And here's a bonus programming tip. The modulator level controls the brightness and the timbre. So experiment with lower values to suit your needs. So it doesn't matter if you're going for a square wave kind of sound or a pulse wave, etc. Always try to go with a higher level and lower level in terms of the modulator output just to see if you can fine tune the sound even more to your liking. For example, this is the square wave. If I were to push up the level, it gets more aggressive. And if I bring it down, it's more mellow. Now this is the triangle wave. So there's nuance to all the sounds that you can make. So make sure to experiment with the modulator level. Let's now do the same experiment, but with a sawtooth wave. Let's turn on the feedback. Let's use algorithm number two and increase the level of the modulator. If you think, well, this is very bright. It's too bright then just bring the level down a little bit until the sound gets warm. So that's how you control the brightness and the timbre in FM synthesis. You can think of the modulator in a certain way as the filter in subtractive synthesis, in the sense that if this sound is too harsh and bright, Imagine that the filter is completely open in a subtractive synthesizer. So if you bring down the filter cutoff on FM, it would be like bringing the level of the modulator down a little bit. 
then it gets warm, warmer, until no high frequencies are present in the sound. So always experiment with ranges of the modulator level. It's not like an all or nothing thing where it always has to be at max because it can be very noisy and digitally harsh. Bring it back down and experiment. And there you have it. Hope you found this useful and I'll see you in the next one.